Hi, I'm Munich Sears, and in this short architect business tip, you'll discover how to attract clients instead of chasing them. This is the business of architecture. When I first started my architecture firm, it felt very awkward for me to try to call up a contact, even if they were a friend, even if they were someone that knew who I was, and arrange that meeting to go over and talk about trying to get work from them. It just felt kind of awkward because it felt like you probably know the feeling. It's hard to describe, but I felt like I was needy. It felt like I was imposing on them or I was going to annoy them. It came down to a reluctance to sell my services, right? There's one very cool thing you can do to flip that around and make those meetings a joy rather than dreading them. There's a way that you can get your clients to be attracted to you instead of you having to chase them. And I'm going to call it becoming in your local market a preeminent thought leader. Okay. This doesn't mean you have to be an author. It doesn't mean you need to go out there and write an encyclopedia. What it does mean is that you need to be on the cutting edge of research in your particular project type. So whether you do healthcare projects, whether you do retail projects, if you do educational projects, do some research by talking to your existing clientele. Find out what exactly is it? What are the problems they're facing in their business? It really comes down to business. And you know what? If you understand a client's business, they will respect that, they'll appreciate that, and they will continue to use you and be attracted to you as an architect. So internalize this idea of becoming a preeminent thought leader. Find out how can you add massive value to the clients that you want to serve. That may be through research, it may be through writing articles, it may be through recording little videos like this where you're sharing tips about how they can get their products done more successfully. Because let's face it, architecture is facing commoditization. Architecture is being outsourced to foreign countries. One thing though that they will never be able to be outsourced is your creativity, your skills, your knowledge, and your experience. So the only way people are going to know that you possess those is by getting out there and sharing them. And today with the digital world we live in, there are a lot of platforms to do that. You don't need to wait for a news company to tap you on the shoulder and interview you. You can start a blog, you can start writing articles, send them to potential clients and just try to help them. The more you help them, I guarantee it will come back to you. So to get clients to be attracted to you, instead of you having to chase them, to get those phone calls and make sure that they're ready and willing to work with you ahead of time, Become and try to figure out how you can become that preeminent thought leader, that preeminent advisor and consultant to your clients. If you enjoyed this architect business tip, go to architectbusinesstips.com and I'll send you more information about how you as an architect can succeed, earn a better income, run a great business, and get freedom. Now get out there and conquer the world.